get to this right now because this is breaking. Newsmax got the interview. House Judiciary Chairman to Newsmax. Holder should resign. Here's that clip. Many Republicans have called for Eric Holder's resignation. Should he resign? Well, last year uh, in the last Congress, I co-sponsored a resolution calling for him to step down, and uh, he has still not uh, complied with the uh, subpoena that was uh, given to him with regard to the investigation of Fast and Furious, and the result of that is that um, uh, his noncompliance, his having been held in contempt of the House of Representatives, uh, all indicates to me his unwillingness to take responsibility for the actions in the Justice Department, his inability to provide leadership, and therefore it oh, is... Oh, no, he's providing leadership. All right, that's enough. And, uh, All I right, that's hate else. speech. We, we should let him run Fast and Furious. We should let him fund al-Qaeda. We, you know, we should let him do all this stuff. I mean, leave the president alone. That's hate speech. That's what the Soviet Union developed, hate speech, where you're shut down and then basically once you're silenced, arrested for criticizing the government or any other corrupt group. And Bill O'Reilly thinks that's a great idea. I, I think that is very offensive. So there goes some hate speech right there. Now let's go to this Nixon and Obama. This article is Nix Obama up on Infowars.com. Here are the comparisons of Obama uh, and Nixon. Now let's go ahead and play that. I have to tell you that is exactly the approach that the Nixon administration took. Interesting. Hmm. I first learned from news reports. Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about this. The comments I made during this period, the comments made by my press secretary in my behalf, were based on the information provided to us at the time we made those comments. Keep in mind, by the way, these t so called talking points that were prepared. Uh, pretty much matched the assessments that I was receiving at that time. And had we not had that kind of security and that kind of secrecy that allowed for the kind of exchange that is essential. Leaks related to national security can put people at risk. I must now turn my full intention and I shall do so once again to the larger duties of this office. Others may get distracted by chasing every fleeting issue that passes by, but the middle class will always be my number one focus. Yeah, when well, you're trying to destroy them. There is one last line that President Obama hasn't used yet, and that's... In any organization, the man at the top must bear the responsibility. That responsibility, therefore, belongs here in this office i accept it i am not a crook yeah that's revealing politics doing a great job all right there you go ladies and gentlemen and that's why the system fears the alternative media because we'll just show you how both parties are corrupt out of control and we're just looking for a few good men and women who care about their children's future in government in corporations in life to lead the way out of this corrupt morass that we've entered now, when we come back, we've got one more clip. This is Demand Answers put out by uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, the uh, leader of the Republicans in the Senate. In the I am the Senate, uh, Obama would have us believe. But he is not all powerful. And Obama is the nastiest expression of globalist tyranny I've ever seen because of the season we're in. But even though he's a power puppet, he must be politically destroyed. He must be politically annihilated to punish all these other crooks so that they fear the people and they fear justice. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.